Hello, I'm at the Caravan Salon exhibition at Dusseldorf, the largest exhibition for motorhomes, ca campervans, caravans in the world. This is the Campio C540 active 4x4 from uh, Bosna. It's on a Citroen basis. It costs nearly 86,000 euros. It's a tiny van by my um, definition. It comes in at 541 centimeters in length, 208 in width. And what you're really paying for here, above all, is the 4x4 capacity. It's done by the French company Dangel. And as you can see, it is on the Citroen. Uh, there's similar vans in the Bursner range on both uh, Fiat and on Ford. Fiat's very similar to the uh, Citroen. The Ford layout, uh, because of the extra height, it gives more possibilities. So I'm not gonna be talking about the four by four capacity here, but I will, if I remember, write something about it in the uh, description. Uh, um, in this case, I'm showing the cosmetic bits inside. The habitation tour is what you're getting here. And that is to show you uh, how much you can fit into a tiny van. Now, if you're doing four by four, then probably finding a parking space isn't one of your first priorities. Uh, so if you're off-road, I dare say uh, you can find somewhere to stop without having to worry too much about the size of the vehicle. Now, when we're talking about uh, off-road capacity, we are above all thinking of the uh, ability of the vehicle to, uh, to put it into a normal car parking space. So what we've got here, as you saw, we've got the toilet, what washroom, it's quite small. Uh, we've got in here, uh, there's your, your um, <laughs> wardrobe, and here we've got storage as well. Um, now the, we've got a fridge down here, the uh, kitchen, two burners and a sink, absolutely standard. And down here, we'll find the fuse box as well as the gas lines coming in and the Truma frost guard. I've done a separate video on the frost guard. So you've got a step up to the bed. Now, what is the uh, other advantages of something like this? Well, the smaller it is, it'll lose, use less fuel, but if you're doing four by four, then you're probably not thinking of saving fuel either. Um, I like the idea of the tiny van particularly one which has got you can store things in that for me is really important uh, up here in the bulwark you've, uh, we've got lots of space now um, personally I, I'd like to be able to stand and get up I do like a window up here though when it's uh, when possible and is available as an option uh, it'll cost at least a thousand probably probably closer to two uh, uh, to uh, to put it into something like this but that, that's something I like to get the, as much light in as possible. As you can see, it is on a, a, a manual gearbox. Uh, let's come outside as well. Have a look at the back. Uh, so, uh, this is quite uh, standard, if you like. These things here, uh, which are just, just sort of lying around, I believe you can actually use them to make an extra bed up front, should you want to. But this size of a vehicle, I think two people is quite sufficient. We've got space for two um, cassettes, no cassettes, what do you call them? Canisters in there. That is the kit for making up an extra bed. I would suggest that you get a blow up mattress. They're tiny, really tiny. Right, the one I've got is, it's not even that, it's something like that. All right, that's it. And it's just as hard as that is. And I've even got a little pump as well, which I bought from Aldi for 30 water, seven euros. And uh, don't know how long it'll last, but uh, it worked the first time I used it. So that makes more sense than all this faffing, this extra stuff you're carrying around, which is taking so much extra space up. Not a good idea, in my opinion. Right, good. Uh, there you go, Campio Off-Road C540 4x4, Dangel 
system. It's been on the market since 2020. So thanks for watching.